agile, it's critical for the team to plan their work so they can develop with quality and predictability. Story points are the preferred unit for sizing work for agile teams. This practice helps teams get to good enough information while avoiding false precision. Unlike a specific measurement of time, such as an hour or a developer day, story points are abstract. They represent relative whole team effort, but keep time out of it. Lots of things affect how long something takes, including interruptions and work in process. It is useful to assess effort separately from these other influences on duration. When agile teams size stories and points, they leverage the Fibonacci sequence, one, two, three, five, eight, 13, etc., to avoid false precision. This approach helps us remember that small differences are never as important as we think they might be. It's the larger differences and the relative sizing between stories that help us figure out how to put them together in a collection and estimate our time over long periods. For example, if you're making a fruit salad and you need five apples, it's not important how big the apples are, but how big they are in relation to the other fruit in the salad. I know that five apples are roughly the same as five pears or 20 strawberries. So the relative size is more important than the individual size. Story points help with mid-range and long-range planning. It's not about focusing on what will happen this afternoon, but instead on what may happen further down the road. There is some uncertainty about what will happen between now and when the user's story is implemented. We may learn new things, new technologies might be introduced, or the customer may decide they want something different. Reminding ourselves that there is some uncertainty is important, especially for things that don't need to be exactly the same size. Going back to our fruit, if I want an orange to eat, that orange may be a different size depending on the time of year, the type of orange. What's important is that I'm getting one orange. It's not important that I get 8.52 centimeters of orange. In fact, I'm almost certainly setting myself up for failure if that's what I write down on my grocery list. Story points also prevent premature commitments that are sometimes forced from outside sources. For example, a project manager may ask how long the project is gonna take. If you say the size of it is a day, then she'll likely be back the next day asking why it's not done. Story points help us keep our sizing abstract since they're only important within the context of a container or iteration. An individual story point isn't very meaningful. Rather, it's the collection of story points within a time box that are significant. So story points are useful for longer term planning when it isn't necessary or even beneficial to get too granular into the details and to help you avoid wasting time, resources, or expectations on the unknown. Instead, leverage points to get to a good enough prediction of the future plan and set yourself up for smarter trade-off decisions when things change later. Mm -hmm.